Hey, this is Bob Flaherty, the electric principal, and I am here with uh, Crossroads Hyundai's head mechanic, Patrick. And uh, today we're seeing something that I haven't seen before, and that is an open battery pack. And uh, you're also going to notice there's yellow chains all the way around here. Why do we have these yellow chains all the way around? Because this is high voltage and it's for safety. Okay. And uh, is it a good idea to touch any of these orange cables for anybody who ever sees an electric car? No. It's a good not way. <laughs> unless you know for sure it has been put into safe mode. Okay. All right. And so that's why there's such a bright color, right? Orange means unless you really know what you're doing, you should probably not go near Orange's it. Orange is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm surprised it's not red. But anyway, that's that's what we do. So what's going on here, Patrick? I see, uh, you know, I, I see a number of uh, packs within the battery because I think a lot of people sometimes think these battery packs are just one big battery. They obviously are not. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? So in now all electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles that have the high voltage battery, they're all made essentially with the same main components, but they're all slightly different. Um, this one in particular is for our Ionic 5s and Ionic 6s. And then the Ionic 9s are the same, they're just slightly bigger. Yeah, 110 kilowatt packs versus an 84 kilowatt yep, hour yep. pack. All right, and then, and then, you know, how, tell me about the structure of this battery. How many, how many major modules are there? How many sub modules are in those things? Or explain how that works to me, Patrick. So there's really only one main module and that's the battery management system that's right here. Okay. Um, and then there's this here right here is the PRA or the power relay assembly. That's essentially what's, what turns on the high voltage to the rest of the car. Okay. Um, because you don't want to have it on to the rest of the car all the time. Okay. Um, that, all right. That'll burn it out real fast. And, and what about each one of these cells I see? I see individual so, cells going all the way across. This is actually a cell pack. Okay. There are six cells in each cell pack. Okay. And there are 32 cell packs in this particular battery. Okay. So. And, and uh, the, each one has a voltage of what when, when it's actually operating? So when it's operating, the voltage output of each cell is right around 2.8 volts. Okay. Um, but if you actually put a voltmeter to each cell, it'll show 3.7. Okay. Because that's, a lot of them are just, that's how they're made is 3.7 volts. Okay, okay. So and if we actually go, so each cell pack is roughly 21.1 volts and then across each set of cell packs is 84.3 volts and then across the whole and battery across the entire battery is 678 volts okay and so so that's how it functions when now when you do work on these batteries right now pretty much Hyundai if there's a problem with an individual pack what do they do right now so right now if there's a problem with an individual cell or an individual pack or anything around those we actually have a company that remanufactures the batteries okay i know i have been told that eventually hyundai wants their technicians to be able to at least replace the cell pack if not eventually replace a individual cell okay and but we're not ready for that now i know that my viewers might know that i had to have a uh a basically an individual pack replaced on my ford lightning truck so i lent this to my brother pat to drive up to aspen and he did so and you know it's always the last guy who had the car's fault just just so you know Got just over 20,000 miles and all the lights came on. The, you know, uh, uh, lights came on and uh, we had an electrical fault. So instead of driving it, you know, I drove up here to pick up Brother Pat and we're having it towed to the local Ford dealer here, uh, just about 30 miles down the road from Aspen. 
Uh, and we're gonna find out what happened to it and how long it takes to fix and it's always good for me to have a bad experience uh, in the sense of I can uh, I kind of know what you guys are suffering through and actually it was pretty good Patrick they actually did that in less than two weeks got the part in put it in I was actually happy with that because in the past that's taken months uh, but right now Hyundai is still in the mood that if something's wrong with this battery they just do the whole thing yep so the only things that we are replacing inside the batteries as technicians at the moment are the battery management system, the power relay assembly, the main fuse, which is an actual, it's a 50 amp fuse. It's, okay. it's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if we really need to, there's cell monitoring units and it, it'll monitor four sets of cells. Okay. Cell packs. Okay. And so there's, 18 of those. So what's going on with this battery today? So in this particular car, it initially had a cell deviation code in the battery management system. So what Hyundai wanted me to do is replace it with a remanufactured battery. We got that remanufactured battery. I put it all in and it would not go into ready mode. So I had to do some testing and found out that the power relay assembly was bad inside okay. the battery. And, and how long has this process been for this particular car? I mean, from start to finish, what I mean, not the actual doing the work, but timeline for getting the parts in from having that happen. So this car, the ticket got written up in August. Okay. And we got the battery, I think it was Thursday last week. Okay, so, so well into October. So Patrick, when you take this battery apart, what holds this all together? I mean, you've got this huge cover that goes on top, right? We're just gonna show that a little bit here. Yeah. Uh, so what, what holds the battery in place and uh, the cover on top? So there are 28, or sorry, 24 bolts that hold the battery to the car. Yep. There's eight bolts that go through the center and then the rest are on the outside. Okay, very good. And then there are 78 bolts and nuts that go around the outside and then over these little bits here that a bolt actually goes through to hold it to the car. Yep, and how many, how, how much time does it take to take this battery apart? How much time do you spend doing that? Uh, so to take the battery out and then take the cover off took me about two hours. Okay, so it's not a small project. No, not at all. Okay. The thing I was gonna ask you about, just, just a little bit about, has have any of these parts changed in 25 versus 24s or 23s in these battery packs? Fundamentally, well, they're all the same. It's just if they've designed, all changed right. the yeah, well, layout. That, that sounds good. So basically, from your knowledge, this is pretty much the same, but, but there has been a change to the ICCU unit, right? We've added some extra parts to that to make that more reliable or a different system? Yes, so they have added another management, uh, another module to right. help configuration of how it takes a charge. Okay, all right. And so that's actually gonna be our next video that Patrick and I are gonna do together. We're gonna, we're gonna open up a 25 and look at what has changed and if we're lucky, we'll have a 24 in the shop and I can show you what that looks like versus what's what's changed. So uh, so that's what's in the future. So thanks again, Patrick, for helping me out, showing me the inner workings of the battery. And I hope you learned something today. We'll see you later.